Today's question comes from McDot in Berlin. Uh, McDot asks, how would you explain the power of keyword domains? To someone looking to take a decision, what kind of domain to go for? So what McDot is referring to is that if you're registering a new, a new domain name, so you want to try to compete in some particular niche within SEO, you can take a couple different strategies. You can go for something really brandable, like Twitter, that people will remember, but isn't necessarily you know, keywords in the domain name. Or you can go for strictly the keywords in the domain name. You know, and, and people do it with all kinds of different areas. So buy viagraonline.org or buy viagraonline.net. And so different people have reasonable disagreements about whether it's better to shoot for a keyword-laden domain or a domain that doesn't necessarily have the keywords in it, but is a little more brandable. So some things to think about. Um, it's definitely, definitely possible to succeed without having keywords in your domain. Think about some of the biggest successes there are. You know, Zynga, nothing in that domain name says, you know, social or gaming or anything like that. Twitter, Facebook, Google, Yahoo. I mean, the names that are brandable, the names that you instantly can recall when you think about, tend not to be those keyword-laden domains. Uh, now, on the keyword side, one advantage that they might have is that if you're referring to the name of the business, you might link to it, and then you might link to it with the same words that are in the keyword. So it's a little bit of a toss-up. It depends on what your goals are, what things you're interested in. Uh, for me, I tend to lean a little more towards things that are brandable because, for example, if you have 15 sites about Android and they all have Android, 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 it's going to be a little hard to remember to rise above the noise, to rise above the din. Whereas if you have something that's a little more brandable, then people are going to remember that. They're going to be able to come back to it. Um, even sites like TechCrunch, right? nothing in there says tech news. Even weird URLs, you know, Hacker News has uh, news.ycombinator.com. Reddit has nothing about, you know, these, this is really interesting social news. Dig, very brandable URL. So if you think about you're trying to shoot for a big success, sometimes going for something a little more brandable can be good. Now, if you're still on the fence, let me just give you a little bit of color that we have looked at the, uh, the rankings and the weights that we give to keyword domains. And some people have complained that we're giving a little too much weight uh, for keywords and domains. And so we have been thinking about adjusting that mix a little bit and sort of turning the knob down within the algorithm so that given two different domains, it wouldn't necessarily help you as much to have a domain with a bunch of keywords in it. So those are some of the factors. That's how I'd explain the trade-offs if you're looking at starting a new domain and you're trying to figure out which way to go.